Welcome to this uh, video about how to install Arch Linux. In about five days, we're going to launch 18.12, and the numbering is now 2018, 12 is December, seventh version that we created. And we have, um, well, the message is, is accordingly that this is VirtualBox, and people say that they are reluctant in trying out Arch Linux on the real machine, the real deal, SSD or hard disk. Well, why not just put it in a virtual box and try it that way? Follow tutorials until you say, okay, um, I know enough to master this system and I'm gonna try it out on SSD, which is of course always better in the sense that you'll see it will run a lot faster if it can get all the CPU power and all the memory as normal. I've made lots of videos about how to set up um, these uh, virtual machines. So I'm just going to boot up. I've put in 18.12.7. And depending on what engine you are, you either look at this screen, which is an MBR lookup um, start screen, and there is also an EFI start screen, which is not nice at all, but has few lines. And just take the first one and you boot up EFI based. So it always depends on the hardware you're putting it into. Then the Calamaris comes up. So Arch Linux is based on Arch Linux, but it's not the way Arch Linux is installed. It's not the black screen that you get, and then you need to figure out your hard disk. You need to figure out what commands to type and all that. We get into a live environment, which you can already see some stuff and click on some elements, but it's still, well, just a live environment, right? So best thing is to actually go through with the installation in your virtual box or in your SSD and do the whole thing. Here you can choose your languages. It depends on what desktop you are because this time, uh, December 2018, I have to think about 11 desktops you can choose from in Arch Linux. So this is the Arch Linux ISO, which contains Openbox, XFC and i3, which means that depending on the desktop you install, the developers have thought about translations or not, right? So it depends on what you will install. If there is a translation, yes or no, that it will be in your language. Now, in my case, I always keep uh, American English. This is GYP, so if this is not working for you, it's not correctly, just click somewhere else and you'll get another time zone because that's all it's for to make sure that you're in the region Europe and Brussels, so you can select here as well. The system language can be changed in the same way. You have to quickly look up ArchWiki if you don't know, but it's here possible to tell you that I am from Netherlands, Belgium. That's how they do it here, an LBE somewhere. That's mine and that's for the Netherlands and so on and so on and so on. So cancel, I keep everything United States. The same goes for your numbers and dates locale. You can change them as well, same approach. Then you need to go for the next, and this is very important. You need to be absolutely certain that you have your own keyboard, otherwise it's always a bit frustrating, and we don't want that. So choose your correct password. You can type here to test your keyboard to see if that's the correct one, and remember it for the rest of your life. Then next, we're on VirtualBox, so it's just an empty hole. There is nothing here, and um, we just say erase disk and go for it, right? Next. The name is your username, so your um, username and login. You can give the name of the computer any name you want. I'm gonna name it Arch Linux. And I'm gonna use the password for this user, Eric. I want them to log in automatically without asking for password. This will only work on XFC because we have a file, etc, lightm, lightm.conf, who says, login in XFCE. So if you have another of the 10 other desktops, you just need to delete XFC, write cinnamon, write mate, and it's done. You are also logged in automatically then. Use the same password or not. So if you want to use another password for root, then you can do so by typing it in here. Normally I would say, I don't, I won't bother. It's just the same password. And then next and next, and everything is going to be installed. The only thing we have to do now is, is wait until this unsquashes, so unzips, unrars 
unpacks and uh, this complete file system is now dumped onto your, uh, in my case, virtual hard disk here and uh, we can reboot later on. Let's wait for it. Okay, we can continue. We do just done here and we have a little button down here that says shut down or restart. We could have used also the button in Calamaris. But I want to shut down in case this is, um, well, virtual box. So I want to get rid of this ISO that's in here. So in here we have, we boot normally from this USB or an S ISO in this case, since it's virtual box. And this is what we get as user on a machine. The grub, you choose the first line and you boot up in Arco Linux. And everything is no graphical installer. Calamares is well preparing everything for you. It has everything already uh, installed and you have land up into XFC because we want to have an automatic uh, login, but there is also Openbox and i3 available. So that's um, your installation is now finished. The only thing you can do is, um, well, update everything, but let's do that in another video.